Hello everybody, how is everyone doing? I hope you're having a very fantastic week. On this week's challenge rift, we have an Inaz monk with a lot of damage reduction, like a lot. Right, so check the card for this, I'm just swapping positions there to make it more comfortable for me. I like dashing or teleporting on my right click. Now, you need to num lock one and two if you have, like, if you want to have peace of mind. Otherwise, you can actually manually cast it every time it's relevant. To make it easier, just no lock it. You don't need that. Uh, you don't need to do, just keep casting that. But again, if you want to go like faster, maybe optimize your time, go for the leaderboards and stuff, then yeah, do it manually. But otherwise, just no lock it's more than enough for you. Now, we're gonna use this Shocky Shocker Conduit Pylon there to slay this elite pack right here. This is my second time running through this, so I know where the packs are. And I've just lost a battle against a staircase. Now, continuing. Um, you can also kill some nice trash if you find them. Like, that was a nice pack. Every time you find a nice pack, like some nice density of monsters around, you can just use your cyclone and bring them to you. Now, there, I'm just going to have like enough time to dash out and then dash to the other side. I don't need to walk around. If you have a dash in charge, you can just dash through these spots, by the way. Teleports also work, you don't need to walk around the thing, blah blah blah, you can just dash there. Now, same system here, out of the pop and dash. Now, very shortly we're going to find a shield pylon in it, right inside that room, there we go, it's on. I'd rather just pick it up right away and then start killing the elite pack, eh, for peace of mind. Like, I love shields, that's actually my favorite pylon. And then teleport through to the other spot. Just to save some time. You don't need to, like, you can just walk. As you're gonna see, um, this is actually a very nice timing. Like, we're gonna go something closer, close to, like, almost two minutes to spare or something like that. It's gonna be really, really comfortable. Now, in this map, you can only teleport through rooms, like, you can only skip rooms and stuff, if the doors are broken. So, I'm gonna demonstrate it now. I break that room and then I teleport. To the other one. If that room was not, um, let's say, if the door was not broken, I would not be able to do that dash, right? You need to break the doors to be able to teleport or dash inside those spots. Sadly, it's weird. Like, you should be able to teleport anyways, but... Alright. Now, this map kind of sucks a little bit. You have some trash, and it's not even, like, great trash. It's... yeah. It's... Trash, trash. Now uh, we're gonna run. Always right, trying to keep one dashing strike charge available. So, like, if we need a quick dash, we can do it. But always try and keep your dashing strike on cooldown because this build has the terror soul shard on the helm. So, as our, we already have numbers one and two on cooldown, they level out the terror gem, so every time we have dashing strike on cooldown, we also have a bonus 12.5% amp and reduced damage. Now let's kill the binder real quick, two hits from our pets or our allies, and she is gone. So yes, yeah, so I think it was like 1 minute 40, yeah, 1 minute 40 to spare basically. It's out of 5 minutes and 2 seconds, and let's check the leaderboards. We are on top 3, see? Very nice timing. Alright people, if this has helped you, please Drop a like and consider subscribing, I stream Diablo content on Twitch every single day. I hope to see you on the next one, and bye bye.